To get my sketchy backyard jet engine to run and hopefully explode, I first needed to figure out how to make a spark. After trying and failing to make the original exciter box that sat outside for 30 years do anything other than buzz, I picked up this exciter box from a mystery airplane. After haphazardly wiring it, it also didn't work, and I'm not sure if it's due to my incompetence or because I got it dirt cheap on eBay. I was getting frustrated, so I went with a nuclear option and ordered this taser driver from Amazon, and it also didn't work. Naturally, I ordered a bigger one that puts out 60,000 volts, and this one seemed a lot better. After hooking it up to the igniter, I was so relieved to finally see a good spark. I guess the fourth time's a charm. With the sparky part figured out, I wanted to use this boroscope to see inside the engine, so I put it right through where the starting fuel nozzle goes. Here's where the hot gas goes from the combustion chamber just before it hits the turbine, and here's the top of the burner can, and you can see the shaft spin when I turn it. By far, my favorite part is all this crap up by where the air exits the compressor because I can't wait to watch it burn up and smoke out the back when I start it. If any of that confused you, pause and take a look at this cutaway.